So today I want to share with you the number one thing you have to do if you want to start attracting soulmate clients for your spiritual business. So today I want to share with you the number one thing you have to do if you want to start attracting soulmate clients for your spiritual business. So this is going to sound a little different from what other business coaches talk to you about. And that's the difference between working with a business coach and a spiritual business coach. Someone that really understands the path of the teacher, healer, a light worker, and spiritual messenger. And that is in order to really call in your soulmate clients and really magnetize your message and magnetize your offer, you have to really tap into your gift. You have to really own your gift. You have to really know what your gift is and how you are able to serve the highest and greatest good. And this can look a lot different than what you're passionate about and oftentimes is you you are probably very multi-passionate i see this all the time with spiritual entrepreneurs and i myself fell into this trap early on too and had to totally rebrand my business because i started to take hold of my passions and turn them into a business so for example Holistic nutrition is a passion. I started selling programs on holistic nutrition. You know, green beauty is a passion. I could easily create a course on identifying toxins in your skincare and start, um, you know, living more healthy without toxins in your cosmetics, right? So there's all these different things that I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about fitness, I'm passionate about yoga, I'm passionate about wellness, I'm passionate about travel, I'm passionate about all these things. And you don't have to let go of any of your passions. You get to express your passions through your brand because you are your brand. When you're building a business online, you are building a personal brand and the things that are really interesting to you or interesting about you or things that you really are passionate about get to shine through in your brand. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they are your gift and your highest and greatest good that you can bring to uh, humanity in general. So if you're watching this, you're a spiritual teacher, healer, light worker, or messenger, and you know you're feeling called on a soul level to make a massive impact in the world and to help uplift or heal humanity in some way through your unique talents, gifts, and wisdom. And I want to say this again, talents, gifts, and wisdom, not necessarily your passions. And I know a lot of business coaches are going to say, well, what are you passionate about? First and foremost, find out what you're passionate about or go survey your audience or friends or neighbors and ask them what they think you're good at or go um, pull, pull, like poll your communities and find out what they want and then go create a program around that. And that is a way to build a business online, but it's not a way to build a soul aligned business online that's going to attract soulmate clients. This is a different animal that you're building here, right? This is a different all together a different ball game when you're calling in soulmate clients that are meant to heal and transform their life through your unique talents, gifts, and wisdom. It is essential that you identify your gift and know the difference between your passions and your deeper purpose for being here, your soul's purpose for being here. And it will look different for everyone, but building a business online, yes, you can go pull some audience and you can find out what they want and then you can figure out a way to create it and sell that program. That is not a soul aligned business and that is not what I teach. And that's not how you're gonna attract quote unquote soulmate clients. Soulmate clients are imprinted to work with you based on the gift that you bring to the table. And for all of the wounded healers and light workers that I work with, there is a transformational gift that you have to offer that you have been preparing for your entire life. All of your experiences, trials, tribulations, everything that you've gone through, the, the road that you've taken, which oftentimes is very turbulent for the light worker, teacher, and healer because you are meant to learn it to such a degree, such an, an intimate level from the inside 
highlight out this transformational process so that you can come full circle in your hero's journey and bring it back to the world in the form of, you know, your own gift, your own message, your own, you know, uh, in my program, I like to call it your own proprietary process. Everything that you've learned along the way is your gift to the world. And everything that you um, uh, need to share in your programs or your offerings is already within you. And everything that you've gone through thus far has been preparing you for this. And so calling in your soulmate clients is about going inward and really recognizing what your true gift is and uh, leading with that. Now, this is deeper than just identifying a niche, right? And you hear about that a lot. And I talk about that a lot. But it, there's a deeper way to determine what your actual gift is if you want to attract soulmate clients and then establish your niche from that place. It's all about alignment. It's all about answering the call of your soul for the mission work that you came here to do. And that is not something that you can just go pull a bunch of people and figure out your niche from reverse engineering some opinions from a random group of people. Even if they're you know, past clients of yours, it still has to come from a soul aligned place. If, if, a hundred, if 10 people out of 100 tell you that they want something um, as far as a program, but it's not in alignment with what your true gift is and what your true mission is, and it's not in the highest and greatest good for you and everybody else involved, then it's not something to create. I don't care how many people would actually pay you for it. There is a sweet spot. Not only will people pay you for your message and the legacy that you want to leave and how you want to serve, but they will be magnetized to you. They will be attracted to you. And this is when you get to work with people, but not just anybody you get to work with soulmate clients. So if this video resonates with you and you want to make attracting soulmate clients easy and effortless so you can grow your spiritual business online, make the global impact that you're here to make while also creating, you know, from a soul aligned success place, meaning that you're also creating your ideal lifestyle, your freedom based lifestyle, your wellness based lifestyle. Your soul does not require you to hustle and sacrifice in order to create a, a soul aligned business online in order to get results. And so I like to teach that you get to have it all and you don't have to sac sacrifice or compromise your dreams and your desires, which are gifted to you by the divine, that you get to have those as well. And I see a lot of um, spiritual teachers, healers, messengers, light workers, really self-sacrificing and over giving a lot. And at the end of the day, oftentimes burning themselves out and even making themselves sick because they are all about service, but they're not about really supporting themselves and they don't have healthy boundaries and things like that. And so they end up depleted, overworked and overwhelmed. And that is not in the highest and greatest good for all involved. It is in the highest and greatest good that all of the teachers, healers, light workers, and spiritual messengers are able to thrive and be abundant and show up blessed in their business so that they can operate from the highest frequency possible and hold that sacred space for the people that they are here to help serve. So if this resonates with you, check out my Soul Align Success Masterclass wherever you happen to be watching this video. And if it really resonates with you, then you will be given the opportunity to hop on a 60-minute strategy session with me after watching the Masterclass. And that's where I'll help you map out your blueprint for your six-figure and beyond soul business, freedom business blueprint. So I hope this video finds you well, and I look forward to tuning in with you on another episode very soon. Namaste.